We open on the Boundless Glory, a cruise liner sized flying ship banking through a, a on-running uh, cloud formation as it bursts out above them and into the sunlight. Uh, this is a marvel of arcane machinery and honestly a lot of guesswork. We zoom in through the one of the portholes and into the uh, ship's sick bay. It is swamped with people. Uh, there is clearly some kind of emergency going on. There are people uh, groaning and like being held in some kind of like waiting area. Even that's overflowing. And we uh, weave in and out of these people and over to the sick bay beds where there is as people like uh, there's even gotten like cots from other rooms in the, aboard this ship and stack them in here to to have enough people uh, on these beds. Um, we pan around to see the senior medical officer uh, uh, tending to patients and the junior medical officer, Atticus Eri. Uh, do you want to describe your character for us? Okay, so Atticus is um, roughly 18 years old. Uh, he's about 5'7". Uh, he's got stark white hair, gray eyes, and he is an asthma. So, yeah. And he kind of looks like a creepy little Victorian boy. <laughs> like, <laughs> why not? <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, I feel like it's actually probably to say, hello, we're the Boundless Glory, and we're in <laughs> <a> DD. <laughs> it's too late. Keep going. <laughs> yeah, it's too late. <laughs> the Boundless Glory, we stream on Friday nights. Uh, uh, who are you as well, Lucky, as a real human person? I'm Lucky Bones. I'm a streamer and cosplayer and content creator and uh, all round cool dude. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Atticus, you have been dealing with this illness. Um, people have been complaining about, uh, sometimes it's, they, they complain about uh, a couple of them at least, that they've been food poisoned. Uh, conditions, uh, the symptoms are very strange. They have, um, they're cold to the touch, um, quite like people are pale. You can see the like um, veins in their body are kind of like standing out and they're uh, uh, hyperventilating a lot of them, just like breathing in and out constantly very quickly. Um, people are quite agitated. Um, how are you dealing with this influx of people? Well, uh, firstly, I'm going to address each person. I'm going to say, yes, okay, you've told me that you've got, you've got the runs and you feel sick. I, I'm, I'm telling you, it could have been the seafood. The seafood on this ship is just absolutely rubbish. You should stay away from it in the first place. You know, you know, I did have the crab. You think it was the crab? <laughs> Look, I'm telling you, the crab. It was a crab, crab special. It could, it crab special. It tasted a little. Coffee. It tasted a little off, to be honest. It, it honestly <laughs> means that it's about to turn, and they're trying to push it. So you it could it was, be that. You think it was that? Mm -hmm. You see, he's like, <sighs> and passes out on the table. Okay, so. Um, <clears throat> maybe it's not the crab special? Okay, sure, um, great. You hear the senior medical officer call out and she's like, uh, I had someone pass out. Um, how, how are things going over there? Everything's bad. The crab special apparently got everybody today. The crab special? Yeah, I don't know. They're pushing. It's a whole thing. I, I heard the same thing. I know. I don't know what's happening. Somebody passed out over here as well. Everything's bad. Um, you go from bed to bed, some, like, uh, you, you check over the, he's passed out, you check over him, he doesn't have, have any visible wounds necessarily, um, although you go to the next bed over, and the same thing, they're, they're, they're passed out as well, and as you kind of give them a once over, you notice there is a bite mark on their, on their wrist. Um, um, check, check, check the bodies. I mean, the people, they're not <laughs> corpses yet. Uh, ch check for bite know. marks. <laughs> Nothing, bite shut marks? up. <laughs> what, like, like, a, like, a, like, a, like an animal? I don't, I don't know. It is, does it look like an animal? Does it Great. look like medicine a people? Check. Okay, I'm going to make a medicine <laughs> check. Uh, all right, cool. Let's go. First roll. Oh, Atticus, you beautiful bitch. Uh, that's a 20. Nice. Yeah, this looks, this looks human shaped. Okay, right. Um, check for people bites. 
shaped. Heeple Sorry, that bites? Shaped like a human <laughs> or shaped like human teeth? Like right? Gorgamon? <laughs> yeah, you know, you, <laughs> is your bite not in the shape of your silhouette? <laughs> it's like a white chalk outline. <laughs> oh God, this really is a crime scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Um, uh, you hear the, the, you, uh, Dr. Hatchet, um, like, um, the name. <laughs> <laughs> your senior medical officer. Um, she's like, um, not, uh, yeah, actually on this one, but not, not on all of them. Not on all of them? This is weird. Okay. All right. So this is... How many do you don't maybe... have bite marks? You, see, you hear her say, do you think maybe, and then, uh, you hear her just yell out in in pain. You oh, rush God. around, uh, making your way over to her before you uh, you are tackled uh, by one of the one of the patients that was previously passed out. Straight into you, uh, make a, an athletics roll. What an athletics roll? Do you think I'm athletic? Oh my God! Plus zero, amazing. <laughs> Go Atticus. Oh, that's a three. <laughs> yeah, you are pushed you got over. This. And you see now this the, the person who is just talking to you about the crab special has you pinned down. Uh, oh he's just, again hyperventilating. You see the eyes just nothing human showing, but like the pupils dilated like crazy. The eyes oh bloodshed God. to almost completely red around these these dilated pupils, and they are trying desperately to bite you on the face. What are you oh, doing? Oh my God! I cast hold person. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Don't. Um, <laughs> I don't even know. There's a three on the die, so I'm assuming that's a that's a fail. Yeah, that, that's a fail. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> just they, holding they're paralyzed, like and you just like push them off the side. But you see, uh, uh, Doctor Hatchet come like uh, uh, like stumbling out. Three of these patients now like uh, like tearing into her, like as she's just like like trying to fend them off. And you see her as she's like bitten and and, and torn apart. She's starting to like. Her, her skin going pale and she's starting to hyperventilate before you like uh, let out a gasp and you see those like uh, th those patients turn towards you their heads snapping oh, as no. you make a sound what do you do as you're running through the waiting room you see uh, a number of these patients start to like reach out like talk to you but then like most of them are passing out as you pass them um, oh, you run out of the medical bay, uh, straight headlong into Joel. Describe your character. My character is a thirty-something-year-old. Uh, imagine any NPC you've ever seen that is a quote-unquote guard. So when you just think <laughs> of a city guard, the local guard, any type of guard. This is so he's got brown hair, a beard, and a mustache, and kind of no, the beard to the mustache. Like this, I've got a beard and a mustache. He's more <laughs> like. This isn't, you know, this is all in, if that connected. <laughs> right. But uh, otherwise, it looks like me. That's it. So, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and his name is uh, Garamy God. G-A-R-D-E. God by name uh, and God so by nature. Do our characters know each other? Absolutely. You, well, you, okay, you've so been on like, this okay. voyage for a little while now. Okay. You would have known... Generally, you, you don't have you don't have a lot of experience necessarily with with the guards, but you you definitely know him by sight and probably by name. Cool. Uh, you run headlong into him. Hey, <laughs> no running into hallways. Jeremy, Jeremy, look, I don't have time for your one-two nonsense. Everything has gone to shit in the medical bay. We have to run now. People are turning into savages, and they are coming after us. Look, see, and I motion to all the bodies. You flying see at us. one sprinting out towards you. Um, oh, Jeremy, what do you do? Uh. Jeremy tries to get Atticus moving and yeah. just is it it's coming straight at me like it's gonna get to me I can't stop running uh well you can try and run is no I think doing? I think I'll uh give it a, a good old-fashioned I think Jeremy is a pretty you know safe person but he would probably try and push him over the shield while running yeah so it's like the yes. huh all right give it give a shield okay. bash all right make yeah. an attack roll yes uh, okay. go Jeremy okay. go Jeremy go Yes, that's a that's a six all up. That's pretty good. <laughs> Some strong rolls today. Uh, wonderful. <laughs> I love it. Fantastic. Right, he's going to make an attack roll start. against you. Oh no! Nice. What? Attack roll against him? No. Oh. Oh, no. Say twenty be your armor class. Is my armor class is eighteen? 
<laughs> so, yes. <laughs> uh, as you're describing oh, th- this to him, Atticus, um, <laughs> a, one of them runs out. He, 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 he kind of shoves you away and, and brings his shield up, but it's like, it's, you don't, ex- like, usually people, human people of sound mind, usually will, like, uh, kind of, like, try and move around your shield. You don't expect him to just, like, not pause at all and just kind of bull rush you pushes you against the other side of like this hallway. Now you're in the, you're in the hallway outside the, the sick bay, uh, pushes up against you. Uh, you feel claws, you feel something else and you are bleeding from the neck as you shove them away and sprint down the hallway away from this creature. You're both running down the hallway, you holding your hand to your neck uh, as trying to stem the bleeding. Um, you round a corner, uh, where are you trying to get to? You see um, you're out in the main, so the, the center part of this ship um, is this large atrium uh, ringed by catwalks at, at several levels. Um, mm-hmm. This is where people, this is where shops are. This is where entertainment is. As you're running down, uh, you pass by uh, a, a a bar, the bar on the ship, which is called, <laughs> up for anyone's guess, really. <laughs> We'd name for a bar. Uh, for, <laughs> for anyone's guess, uh, for anyone's guess, it is. Yeah. <laughs> um, you round the corner, uh, push open the double doors to get in, close the doors behind you. As Acorn, you do the same thing on the other side of the room. You you're, <sighs> you're gathering people. Similar things have happened to you as you as you take in a few people who have been who you, you've caught running the halls. Uh, Acorn, describe your character for me, please. I am a warforged uh, druid that might look a little bit different because I obviously look a little bit weird being a giant robot sort of thing. (laughs) Uh, I'm probably wearing some sort of animal as clothing uh, slash hooded animal, maybe like a wolf's head on top of my head, something like that, being a druid. Um, and I don't really have much emotion because I'm a warforged, and all I really know is how to contain situations. That's, um, that's about it. So, <laughs> Jeremy and uh, Atticus, you come bursting through one set of double doors into the bar. Uh, Acorn, you with a with a small troop of survivors, come uh, uh, bursting through another uh, the other side of the room another set of double doors both of you turn around uh what are you what are you doing in this in this place uh uh help my neck is, is bleeding <laughs> and there's crazy people outside i slap him on the side of the head and i, ca- I cast healing hands and i give you five more hit points yes. and you, you shit closes up but was uh, he bitten wait yeah was he, were you bitten i yes, mean if he's I bitten there, i, I feel like, like we should burn him <laughs> bang 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 so, there's people trying to smack on the door what are you doing uh, uh, we got to barricade the doors. We got to barricade the doors. Find heavy things uh, and move them ac- in front of the doors. Um, the person on stage uh, leading the entertainment for this for, the, for what has now turned into <laughs> a very different kind of night. Oh, yeah. uh, Johnny Peaches, do you want to describe your character? Yeah, feels like a regular Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Peaches is uh, about five foot nothing. Um, a beautiful tiefling who looks like a walking galaxy. Uh, she has horns and a tail, and she has um, a fiddle with her with her wherever she goes. Uh, um, so this group has burst into your bar and is what? making a ruckus, talking Ridiculous. about one of them was like a guard was bleeding from the neck. And then you hear like bang, 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 bang. You hear uh, Atticus start to uh, barricade the door. You, Atticus, uh, you're like grabbing chairs and stuff to like yeah. wedge. The, uh, but I'm, I'm because Atticus has no strength. He's, just, he's <laughs> grabbing like the smallest shit he can find that he can lift, and he's like dragging. <laughs> <laughs> Atticus lifts this bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy wedges a table in in, in front of them. <laughs> Jeremy's got like, two tables. <laughs> I made my way to to the stage, just uh, to where the entertainment was. I, uh, yeah. I'd like to I'd like to grab the microphone. I feel like my <laughs> emotions have gotten absolutely. much better. Yeah, you've got. This, I feel like, like at like this, this time it's very important that you all move towards one side because there's going to be some sort of angry humans coming in from the other side. And if you guys don't move to this side, you're probably all going to die horrible deaths. 
Look at Jeremy. He's bleeding. He's probably going to die soon, but that's all right as long as he wasn't bitten. So please move to this side so you guys don't die horrible deaths. I'm fine. They can't bite me. I'm a robot. <laughs> People stand up. They're a bit. Why are you here? Like angry, grumbling. Like uh, no, I don't have their security. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. I dropped the microphone. <laughs> Everyone, whoa, backs up. <laughs> like that. Uh, and out of the double doors that you came through, Acorn, uh, you hear like bang, 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 bang. And uh, who's who's trying to get to that those doors? Ooh. Wait. As, there's, there's two sets of double doors as entrances into this place. One's, uh, is one already barricaded? One is already barricaded. The one through Acorn came through with, with a number of people. So it's like, there's people pushing through there. What are you doing? I'm taking a trombone from the stage and wedging it between the yes. door handles. Yes. Uh, I will make make an athletics check to get there in time. Ooh. Can't you do flips and shit though? And like make it like- Yeah, I feel like an acrobatics it? check would be better. Like I just run across the, the table, Zach. <laughs> Fuck. Acro- okay, acrobatics, fine. Yes. Can we also be level 20? I would like some extra spells. <laughs> That's a 25. It was a 19 on the die. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, you you like bonnet slide across these tables like like uh like someone from a uh Wait, so it's like I'm like back and forth, like <laughs> table to no, table. It's a really long table. Like you slide all the way down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, drinks going flying. Uh the, the doors are coming open for you. Slide the, the trombone between the, between the handles. The table is like 20 meters as long and you slide slower than you'd think but you continue to slide so it's like yeah it's very dramatic yep. acorn lifts up onto the, uh, the other end of the table so, you slide. so i slide faster thank you appreciate it. uh you get the uh, um the doors start to like uh rattle against the the hinges but for now there is a moment of reprieve all right so um what you said that i was going to die a horrible death can i just uh ask a few questions there acorn um, you look horrible. Oh, okay, but no. Okay, yeah. like no, normally no. when I see you, I worry for your life because as time goes by, I realize that you're not playing some sort of joke. This is truly <laughs> you, I, and I'm slowly starting to realize as I learn more about my emotional capacity after you know spending time with you that you truly are quite silly. <laughs> but as of right now. I worry more for your life than normal. I think Jeremy walks over to Acorn and he's kind of like a bit shy and he kind of gives him a bit of a hug. Thank you, Acorn. No one's no one's ever cared about me like this before. You're bleeding on my leaves. Oh yeah, let me look at that. And I'll go over and I'm going to have a squeeze at the bite. Um, are you feeling like you um, ate the crab special? Are you feeling uh, a little bit, are you feeling okay? No, I, I don't. Uh, you're gonna, you can also take six points of piercing damage from the bite, I forgot to mention. Me? Yeah. What? I gave him healing <laughs> healing hand, so he gets five of those back. Yeah, okay. Zach. Okay. Thank you. I, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm giving you... Um, how am I Is feeling? Is he still bleeding? Uh, the heal, the, after, after, after casting Cure Wounds, uh, the, 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 the bite is definitely uh, it was a bite. closed up. But uh, as you inspect, given that you know what you're looking for, Atticus, you you can tell that it was a bite. Okay. All right. Well, uh, Jeremy, if you're feeling the need to um, eat humans uh, or people in general today, just let me know um, so that we can, like, isolate you and make sure that, uh, if need be, we can burn you. Um, okay. But you see, just... I mean, you, oh. I'm, I'm actually a vegetarian. It's never come up in canon. Right until now but sure really <laughs> actually this this is a one shot so things don't really continue so yeah in this one i'm a vegetarian uh-huh. so i mean i would never eat a human especially well i don't know i don't know if the people outside decided that they wanted to like do that today but they did so never say never i guess <laughs> i guess i could eat a human if you if i had to if push, no, if push came to shove that's not- Galilee, that is not what she is saying. <laughs> I start Indeed. looking around. Indeed. Yep. Aren't you guys all going to die soon? I've never. I plan on never dying. I mean, we We're all... talking about Jeremy's <laughs> vegetarian habits. Yes. And there's zombie. Oh, right, thing. right, 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 right. So they're outside the doors. Like you've barricaded the 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 bar closed. There's a number of people in here with you. 
Uh, in moment, are they there. all just all watching they, they, us? Talk? They were just like, <laughs> "Did you say we're going to die?" <laughs> see, we're all we're all going to die. Uh, so, um, <clears throat> you see, uh, a, a man walk up, look like quite prim, uh, holding his chin up, walks up to, uh, uh, I think, I think more um, you, Acorn, and and uh, Johnny, like. <clears throat> You you work here, yes. What what is the situation before before us? Um, I would I would, uh, we demand to know, to be informed as as passengers, as fair paying passengers aboard this vessel. Thank you. It can't be that great. I'm paid to be here. Yes, yes. You you're paid to be here. Exactly. Yeah. You are, you work for the ship. So please do your duty and tell us what's going on. From my understanding, as you can see, and I pointed Atticus has come from the sick bay and there's a whole bunch of people following them and it seems like someone is infected and there's a high chance probably around a 63.7 percent chance that if you are bitten you will more than likely turn into this zombie thing we have no idea if there's a cure and i quite frankly don't know if there's a way out for a lot of you i i can't really be diseased but i'm trying to be better at this and trying to make it does this help do you feel much safer now Wait, I there's a high do, possibility. I feel better, thank you. Okay, but who is the he one that looks, was... He just looks bitten. like ashen face. He's just like... <laughs> you also look quite weak-boned. I feel like you will die I, very quickly I if am trouble from a, happens. I, 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 <laughs> weak bones. Weak bones. Like, Jeremy, he has weak bones. I have, yeah, avian, he... I have avian bird bones. They're, they're very weak, like chalk. Like chalk, so... They uh, will uh, snap immediately. That, I, I, they will snap me. You must protect. You are all, all of you. You're all, you, you are all employed by the, 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 the vessel's uh, crew. Yes, yes that makes us important, and that makes you not any important anymore because you that already paid your you money. You have to protect our lives. <laughs> you have to protect our lives. That's okay. what it is. Okay. okay. Or I will, I will have a stern word to your manager. Oh, Human which really is sir. who now? Really, sir? Well, Maybe well. a zombie at this very moment. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, so cool. zombies and all that. I, you know, I this this man could have cut himself shaving. I don't know out of all that. I no, know. he was bitten by a zombie. I watched it. I watched Wait, him take a chance. Who was bitten by a zombie? You, Gal. I mean, I was you. I mean, that was a zombie. Was that a zombie? That was not a zombie. I've written, I don't know. I wasn't I've read there. enough comic books to know what a zombie is. <laughs> well, I don't know about all these zombies and and such. You you all have burst in here, and I haven't seen hide or hair of any any zombies. It's just that you seem to believe you've you've taken over this bar. Well, I for one, I want to leave. You want? Get do you want to, to go outside? Rooms. Would you like to leave? Shall yes, I? Open I would. Which which door would you like to go through? The one that there's banging of the zombies at or the other one where there's banging of the zombies at? They could be fair paying passengers wishing entry upon this fine establishment. Sir? Yes, there's a suddenly a rush on the bar. You are such a Karen. Is your name, what's your name, sir? It's Karen? It sounds Ken? like Karen. Would you like to speak to the manager? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just take a breath and go Not too hard, somewhere though. Yeah, not too hard. We don't you know might if this your... is airborne. Yeah, also your avian bones might just collapse in on them. Crash. So it's all the, it's breath, all the inbreeding in my ro royal noble family. <laughs> we have no one is surprised. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Acorn had a good point. Everyone, 1.5 meter distance. I'm going to hand out some masks. We're going to do this properly. <laughs> I think by now we've learned how to do this. We're going to do it. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. He, he, he seems mollified and, and walks back with you grumbling. There's definitely, there's definitely uh, tension and uneasiness within the, within the rest of the people here. Hmm. Um, many of them who haven't seen any explicit danger, just people banging on the doors. Well, trust um, us. Look at how like put together and like, you know, sensible we all are. <laughs> <laughs> um, Atticus, as you're making your rounds, walking around, checking this, checking this place out, um, you notice that there is a plate of the crab special uh, on one of the on one of the tables. The culprit. I vacated <laughs> it. Right. <laughs> crab special. I'm picking it up. I'm expecting, you're expecting the crab it. Special. Uh, make a make a nature nature check. A nature check. <gasps> I don't have that. Okay. All right. Is it Can even I... a crab? <laughs> Can I, I also have a seven. look at this? Yeah, can I bring yeah, it to yeah. the acorn? Yeah, can yeah, I, absolutely. If I was to do like a nature or a survival check, 
Yeah. Right? Because if there's some sort of like something within it that shouldn't be there, wouldn't that be more a survival yeah, check? Yeah, survival survival, survival check oh. would do would get you some information okay. as well. Okay, that's an 18 plus seven. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, get it. You know, <laughs> what is very this? quickly, so. uh, that while this does appear to be a crustacean, it's definitely not crab. This is not crab. What is it? I need you to tell me. What is this? Do it's I something know what it not, is? It's not a natural occurring creature, whatever this is. It's got like barbs down its it's it's it, this more, more looks like it's more similar in fact to like a a sea anemones like uh uh like spike it's like barbed um and it has some like you know like still like meat in it a little bit okay. and that's clearly what people were eating oh this is not something that i've seen before as my not as much three weeks as of so. being a druid <laughs> like... you know that you, you your master did tell you about uh like uh anything that that is like like this you would you would assume to be some kind of aberration okay even though you have okay. such a connection to the natural world you know that this is not of the natural world okay i feel like there is definitely something more going on here than just a crab special <laughs> um, this is some sort of aberration or something that I feel like we're going to be able to find more of on the ship. We need to look for a source of where this is coming from. Jeremy? Yeah, I'm pretty hungry. I could probably... <laughs> <laughs> he picks up the map. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Jeremy, you are, you. you are on the other side of the room talking to some individuals, uh -huh. um, making sure people are like coming up to you and like hassling you, asking questions, you're kind of dealing with them. Uh, walking amongst them, you see. Uh, make a perception check for me. Oh, you mean a roll? Yeah. Do I have? <laughs> do I have my magical shield? Uh, no. Right. Oh, does it mean I don't have a broom? Oh. I got a fourteen. <laughs> you're out of the family. Fourteen. Uh, <laughs> as you're kind of walking and talking to to people, um, you. Right. You're out of the family, Jeremy. It was so funny because that's twice it's happened to him in his life. <laughs> oh, oh, no, oh, it's true. Oh, 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 I feel so bad. Yeah, a single tear runs down Jeremy's face as he continues to walk around the room. <laughs> um, you see someone kind of like uh, intentionally try and avoid your eyesight by like, like, kind of like moving more into like one of the booths. Uh, hey, hey, over there, you, the booth boy. <laughs> it's yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's like an older, it's like an older man. Uh, but uh, uh, he's he's wearing like a like a frilled uh coat, like like lacy uh coat. That's like he's he's like, uh, and he's like standing. He's like sitting kind of awkwardly, like pushed into the corner. Uh, he, he's kind of pointedly <laughs> ignoring you. Hey, hey, what? Hey, why are you? What hey. are you? Uh, uh, do you need something? <clears throat> I just couldn't help but feel like you were just, you know, being a bit rude. Rude? I, I'm, I'm nothing of this sort, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm just not. I'm not, uh, I'm not bothering you. Are you? Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm feeling fine. It's a bit. It's it's a bit. It's a bit warm in here. I feel a bit. I feel oh. a bit cold. Let me Did go. Did you hear the that actually the crab that's actually some sort of life force that I haven't seen before that might be really dangerous? I feel like you've eaten it. Did Check you... his plate. Wait, yeah, yeah no, his I... plate. Did you eat? The... Where's Crabs? your plate? I I do not eat crustacean from the sea. It's disgusting. I do you never... crustacean from the moon then? Because it only comes from the sea. <laughs> Yeah. Right, there's probably some land dwelling crustaceans. What are you, a, a, a doctor? Wait, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, well, okay then. <laughs> have you been uh, bitten? B bitten? Have you been bitten? Ex what? Insight That's check the motherfucker. Check, check him for bites. <laughs> Rolling right. an insight check. Uh, make an insight check. 25. <laughs> He's 100% been bitten. God, I cast whole person <laughs> again. 
Check it. Uh, you want to you want a card held person? Yeah, fuck yeah. I don't want any of these <laughs> motherfuckers moving on me. Nah. -uh. He freaks us. <laughs> Excellent. Um, uh, you pull uh, uh Johnny Peters. You pull up his sleeve and you see a bite mark right on his right on his, <sighs> on his wrist. And he points to it. It gives him the look. <laughs> He's paralyzed. <laughs> yeah, Johnny's like. <laughs> What, what do we do with people who are bitten? I, I go back to the microphone while they're discussing this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. what, what, what pep talk do you give the group? <laughs> the guy over there has definitely been bitten. Uh, everyone's chances of dying has just increased by at least 14%. Drop the microphone again. I look at my group of friends. I've got this. <laughs> Make an, I want to say intimidation check, but make a persuasion <laughs> check. Beautiful. Oh my God. Uh, Amazing. 13 plus zero. <laughs> 13. People, you know, they're, they're more swayed than not. Uh, the grumbling yeah. definitely dies down, but they're like, you see what we'll get him out of here then. We don't want him. If he's bitten, he could put us. <laughs> yeah, get rid of him. Uh, I think we yeah, should. Yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> I don't. I don't want that kind of behavior in this in this bar. But I mean, I'm about to fall into the wrong accent. There we go. <laughs> Damn you, Zach, for using an Irish accent on me. I think. I think. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, who am I? Um, <laughs> we've. Well, look. I mean, Atticus, if you heal him, odds are he'll be fine, right? I mean, I'm fine. I don't know if I'm just healing the wound or if I'm eliminating the source of the, the entire problem. I'm keeping an eye on you, Jeremy, because I don't know if you're going to turn or not, but I can try. Um, I don't, because I'm so low level and Zach didn't let it be level 20 for some reason, I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, um, okay, uh, I'm, I'll have a, mm, I'll have a crack at a, mm, a lesser restoration. Which is going to fix his paralysis, by the way, but <laughs> it also fixes poison. So he's not going to be paralyzed anymore. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I'll, I'll try a lesser oh, restoration. Or disease. It could be disease. Yeah. yeah. I can't do greater restoration, unfortunately, because, so, you know, so not you, level 20. So what does Ridiculous. lesser restoration do? Uh, you touch a creature that uh, and can end either one disease or condition affecting it. Uh, the condition can be blinded, deafened, uh, paralyzed, or poisoned. Or diseased. Or diseased. Okay. Um, hmm. can I make a medicine check to like see if it would yeah work? make a medicine check first okay all right I'll have a have a let me just let let the doctor look let the doctor look ah uh, that's a 26 26 Ooh. so with that I will I, I I think you know that this could be a disease it also could be a parasite um given okay. that it's spread through saliva seemingly through bites as well as whatever the meat was that was in this this crab special yep um it depends if it's a, if it's it could be a disease but it, like if it's a parasite it won't be it won't be cured by by your spell <sighs> okay who would eat a crab special in real life i don't know i man. am allergic to shellfish so me too. no <laughs> me too i was like crab special <laughs> if it's a parasite can i try speak with animal Zach, he, he speaks to answer the man. The tape worm, like slides Zach. out. And it's like, hey, it just comes out of his mouth. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Please, <laughs> 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 you've got your sticky humans. <laughs> In my mind, that's how he talks. <laughs> oh my god, tape worm is to be bad evil. <laughs> <laughs> the problem would be that these organisms are too small to even approach. Ah. Any kind of speech. <laughs> I would never hear it. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, what is, however, a pressing concern yeah. is that there is uh, the, the banging from the doors oh, yeah. are more intense. You see, the trombone is starting to get bent and broken. More, most, more problematic is the fact that the hinges seem to be like wearing a little thin on the doors. Like the the, it's got st the, the door frames themselves yeah. are starting to splinter. Uh, where the two where the two doors are, 
is there some sort of like in between, right? Or is that just a complete another side of the ship? Uh, what do you mean? Sorry. So do they meet at all in the somewhere? So like, say the two doors are here, are they joined somewhere? So if, if there was like a middle oh. part. So the two doors, I think, uh, like the the bar is probably on one of the corners, and the two two sets of doors that enter, they're far apart. They're like they are on either side of the bar, but they're connected by a a, a, a larger, okay, a, yeah, a larger runway. Kind okay, of the, so the catwalk I, that kind of rings. Could I make door. in between? Like, could I could I in between where the two doors are to try and lead? one of the groups away or both of the groups away from the doors. Could I do druid craft, which allows me to, you can make like a, a flower blossom or something like something falling or like wind or animal noises or odor. I could do any of those types of things to lead them away from one of the doors. Preferably the door with the trombone because that's not where medical was. We obviously want to go the other way. Mm. Yeah, you can. You figure that they're 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 being um, uh, drawn by you know the sounds of like the sounds and and smells and 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 whatnot. So you can like like create. I think you like create this like weird flower that like um, on the other side. Uh, you can do this. Um, you'll have to make a check to do it, but you can do this. Um, does anyone want to ask any other questions? Uh, Where's the kitchen? Um, like the you like the, the, the bartender. The, yeah, and I want to know where the I want to know where the like the kitchens are because if people have been eating this, it means it would have had to have been prepared, which means that you know possibly the person who's like caused this whole problem is the chef. Oh yeah, we got. We, uh, so you go and talk to the bartender, and he's like. Oh yeah, no, we brought uh, we brought uh, the, the kitchens are just back here. Um, you can you you're free to to chat to the to the chef, but um, honestly, I brought I brought it up from the from the low decks. So uh, you you brought the the crab special up? Yeah, it was just full of the in in the in the crates next to the, the usual supplies. I mean, right, I, and I, it, I think we might have fished for him. You know, you fit right. Okay, so you fit uh, right. Not me check? personally. I'm no right. fisherman, but uh, no. you know, probably when we were dipping below the near the water, we probably uh, you know scooped up some some crab. I'm assuming. It's I feel not... like you and Jeremy might be related. <laughs> Do you think? Do you think? <laughs> I may. I. I mean, I did have an Irish cousin that my <laughs> my mum told me that they were also working on a ship like this, but she couldn't remember which <laughs> one. Fuck? It couldn't possibly be. Not the time, Jeremy. <laughs> Not the time. <laughs> okay, all right. So they were fished for, and they're brought on board, and then just prepared. And everyone was like, "This is crab," despite the fact that it's not crab. It's not crab. I get the plate and I oh, hold it up yeah. to him, and I'm like, "Does Wait, this it's not crab. spines?" Does crab not have spines? Yeah. Friend, have you ever not. seen a crab before? I have not, to be honest. Yeah, not, me, not all crabs. I'm thinking he's related to Jeremy. I think you're yeah, right. Ireland. <laughs> I've never seen. I've never seen a crab either. Holy shit! I assume they're all, you know, yep. were they labeled food. It was near to food. It was near to food. It was right. Near it was right beside food. it. Yeah. But did it? But did it say food for consumption? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. It has. A, it had a whole bunch of other food inside as well. Like. Oh, you know, spoiled meats, and you know, it like like something had gone through it. But the crab's still good. <laughs> Is it? Crab. <laughs> I mean, I think that's up for debate still. You know. No, I don't I mean, think it is. How do we? You know, we can't prove it's not crab. Well, what are you, a doctor? <laughs> yes. Why does everyone keep asking me this? Yes, I am a doctor. Oh, okay. Then, well, uh, you know. Right, but, right, right, right. But been... are you a fisherman? That's the yeah, real you're question. You're a crab doctor. <laughs> <laughs> the man has your there. I walk away from him. I just, I, I drop the plate. I walk away. Um, I feel like uh, we should go to the lower decks, everyone. Uh, well, I feel um, like going to the kitchen. We're probably either just going to find more zombies, yeah, or, or more of the weird alien crab. 
And so um, I feel like the aberration, some might even say. Um, but I feel like we should go to the lower decks. Jeremy, that's your expertise area, isn't it? Uh, um, you know that there's they brought in yes. they, they keep a lot of the supplies down below below decks uh, near where the cargo hold is the, the cargo hold also opens up uh, to allow them to like bring this all on in the first place um, you also have to think about what you're going to do with all these infected they're, they're, they're too much to fight plus if anyone gets bitten you don't want to have the uh, chance for infection um, are, there, are there any like vents or like um things are uh, leading up into the sea. oh to crawl around in yeah. like exactly. we spaces. have like an eight foot tall wharf watch yeah. <laughs> what about the um you, tight squeeze. you can just walk around though nothing can nothing can yeah. run- acorn is invisible nothing invisible. can I mean, bite they him. can tear him apart <laughs> that still hurts him <laughs> he's just not immune to damage <laughs> i'm cool <laughs> acorn do, say- do you feel do you feel pain <laughs> Every day my life is pain. <laughs> <laughs> the memories I have. I personally feel like we should get every single person here, and I'm saying this quite loudly so they can hear me, and we put them inside the freezer that will obviously be inside the kitchen, and then I'll rip the pipe so the freezer stops actually working, and we just lock them inside that container while we go downstairs, and this will save a lot of time looking for yep. a ventilation system. We can just throw them in there then get rid of the actual freezer part of it so it doesn't actually work because it's actually quite easy to break, and then we'll go and continue on. Thoughts? All right. Sounds uh, amazing. Uh, That's sounds- nice. Yes, sir. Safe. <laughs> All right, you 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 hustle everyone into the into the freeze room. It's it's Amazing. it's let's say it's less you know you don't have to break any pipes or anything. It's just it's filled with actual ice. So you like you get everyone uh, moving, uh, get them to like take all the ice out, and then close the door with the solemn promise, I guess, that you will come back for them at yeah. some point. Oh, that looks uh, so tasty. <laughs> I've uh, taken a kebab while we're in the kitchen, by the way. <laughs> As I close the door on them. <laughs> Um, you'll be right you'll be barricade right. this door and then it's just you in the bar the bummer is like oh should I have gone in there I should probably I should I should go too sorry <laughs> bye see you later uh, <laughs> uh, um, I wish I wish he just followed behind us like he was trying to be stealthy on the way down and he starts making margaritas just, <laughs> did anyone want one of these it's just <laughs> <laughs> really loudly with some ice. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, Acorn, you have to druid craft a a suitable distraction to get uh, one sure. of the packs away from one of these doors. Yeah, it is uh, like a cantrip for me, so it's super easy to do. Can I yes. like use? However, can I help? Yeah, you can. You can provide with like uh, aid. thaumaturgy, kind of yeah. like like thrown in there to like make a like a loud sound. At yeah. Least. So both of you roll spellcasting ability checks. Oh, um, so this is your I... for both of you would be a wisdom modifier plus your proficiency bonus. Okay. So it's a d twenty plus eight. Oh god. Um. Yeah, it's going to be pretty good. Thirteen, sixteen, twenty. Twenty. That'll do it. And yeah. uh, hang on. So, uh, uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. I think so. Uh. Acorn, you like put your hands on the on the on the metal of the wall, and you hear like those the the the, the striking against the doors. It's getting louder and louder, but you focus, wait, and then we see we 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 pan around to the other side of the door, and we see like um, there's a kind of like a like uh, potted plants like set into the wall, and they start to grow, um, and they and they start to grow this like heavy appended like appended, and they and they're kind of like flowers bloom uh for anyone near hand nearby uh to smell them they would smell like rotting meat awful and disgusting but these these flowers like open and bloom and wilt at the same time letting off these gases um and you see like some of the some of the zombies on one of the sides start to like uh pick up like start to be distracted and before like turning back to the thing but then they hear like uh thaumaturgy like the the sounds and rattles you hear like the, the sounds of someone being like ah and like and, and like struggling and like sounds of like scraping uh pe- like footsteps against metal and you see like uh one one of these groups starts to run around uh to attack these these individuals 
uh, these phantom individuals. Um, so one of the the <laughs> door held closed by the trombone uh, is is bent to breaking, but you managed to uh, now it's now it's now it's free of anyone trying to break in. All right, let's be extra quiet. I can't remember where we were going. It's something to yeah, do. What with, are we doing? Are we, are we, uh, we should have. We need to go to the lower decks. Oh, Jeremy. that's it. Thank you, Acorn. I forget these things sometimes. I just got mm. all excited. All right, everyone, follow me. There. Yeah. Wait. One, two, one, two, <laughs> one, two, one. All right. Um, I need everyone to make uh, stealth rolls. Oh, no. ah! With advantage oh. because of how well we role played. Am I right? <laughs> so, stealth. One, two, three. Zach, I have, I have stealth at disadvantage. Um, <laughs> of course you do. So I had a 20. That was fantastic. And then a four. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> Four total? Yeah, four total. Oh, oh Acorn no. got one. <laughs> oh, no. That's me and Acorn just be like, dush, dush, dush. <laughs> I got a 17. 17. Uh, Atticus uh, and Johnny Peaches, you both uh, silently walking down the stairs. Uh <laughs> Acorn. I have, I, have an, I have an idea of what happened. Yeah, yeah. Good. You know what it is? As yeah. I started, as we were being really stealthy, as if anyone doesn't know Acorn's character, I was a Warforge, uh, and my master that was a druid found me uh, just an empty husk, pretty much, and brought me back to life. And as we're trying to be sneaky, all I could hear was one, two, one, two, one, two. And I started getting these flashbacks of back of my time where they were training me to be a warforge. And so I started marching <laughs> <laughs> down this hallway. Military march. And Jeremy probably got me excited because someone finally <laughs> listened to him. He's like, that's right, yeah. Acorn! One, two, one, two. <laughs> down the hallway. We're marching together. I haven't marched with anyone in so long. <laughs> um... So Atticus and Johnny, you can you can like <sighs> you jump into alcoves uh hidden as uh Acorn and uh sorry Acorn and Jeremy, the, the horde starts to like you hear like as as this like uh people sprint around the corner and uh in dead pursuit of, of you. Like you can see they're like even as they get closer, they're like veins standing out in their necks and across their heads, just like Again, hyperventilating, getting as much air. Their their pupils dilated. You can tell it's it's almost like they're just like absolutely filled with adrenaline. They're sprinting towards you. What's the plan? Uh, <gasps> right? Are they are they are they undead? Uh, technically. Uh, you can you can make a check as they run past. Uh, uh, so you you and you and Johnny are, are in our clothes hidden as this horde sprints past you, um, chasing down uh, Jeremy and. Acorn, Jeremy Acorn, you are sprinting down uh, the spiral stairs to get down to the lower decks as these things are just uh, like pedal to the metal sprinting after you. Uh, I just, I just quickly use Eyes of the Grave. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, uh, Eyes of the Grave. Yeah. Um, are these undead? I think probably technically in, in terms of the game system, I think they would be, yes. Yes, I cast turn undead. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> yes. Boom. Yes. Um, as they uh, uh, run past you, it looks like all of them would be under the effects of this spell. Um, what do I have to do? Okay, so, all right. So, uh, Turn Undead um, is basically, hang on, let me just quickly scroll and find Turn Undead because it's a whole thing. Uh, uh, Channel Divinity, duh, 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 uh, Turn Undead. Oh my God, this is a lot. Um, as an action, you present your holy symbol and speak a prayer. I don't do that. I have no God. Um, <laughs> uh, each undead that can see or hear you within 30 feet must make a wisdom saving throw. If the creature fails the saving throw, it is turned for one minute or until it takes any damage. Uh, but now at, uh, oh, I can do a destroy undead actually. Stop because I want to use it as a saving throw against your turn. Okay. So if any of them <laughs> fail my saving, the saving throw of turn undead, um, uh, the creature is instantly destroyed if its challenge rating is at or below a certain threshold. What's the certain threshold? Uh, fifth level <laughs> is one or two or lower. So if their challenge oh, ratings are one or okay. two or lower, then yeah, yeah. they're just instantly destroyed. 
All right. So <laughs> you, as they run past you, you wait until all the, all this kind of this group itself is is under your effect, and you like uh, raise your like you've got this little uh, like reliquary. Uh, talisman re- yeah. reliquary that you raise up. You speak a word out loud. Uh, you see them all turn towards you because you've definitely gotten their attention now. <laughs> There's a 13. They fail. <laughs> yeah, and they buddy. To, like, uh, row after row just gets, like, thrown back and turned to dust. <laughs> I feel like that probably would have snapped me back into reality a little bit too, sort of yeah. seeing that. I just go, oh, God. I think some of them had, like, tackled you and gotten you down to the ground, Acorn, and, like, were about to, like, sink their teeth into Gary's face. And they're just, like, as the teeth bite down on you, they just turn to ash. And you're like... <laughs> uh, okay, like we said, stealthy and no one will notice. Let's, <laughs> let's keep on going. Atticus just stomps past, like, whatever. <laughs> Let's Atticus, we need shit. to be stealthy. Oh, Atticus is giving us up. All right, I'm going to paralyze go. him. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Maybe we'll you'll just... show to make us all a bit safer. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking fifth level fucking baby hands. Oh, I don't have fifth level yet. Damn it. Third level. <laughs> so the group Bye, starts bitch. to move downstairs. Yes. Uh, down one of the, the eastern uh, spiral staircase that like goes all the way up and down the, the ship. Um, down below decks, you uh, uh, heading down Acorn. Um, sorry, Jeremy. Yes, Jeremy, you are uh, feeling a little like just like your skin is like ooh, everything feels way too hot to you. Like de- even though you're far below decks at this point, and the rest of you kind of feel it chill to the air, you still feel like this is too hot. Um, Atticus, you've been keeping an eye on, on Garamy and you notice his breathing start to get faster. Um, Atticus, why are you looking at me like that? You feel a bit, feel a bit warm there, friend. I mean, it is pretty hot, but I feel like ships, you know, they got yeah. ventilation and heating and who knows mm-hmm. what. Mm-hmm. I've seen the engines. <clears throat> They're really complicated. So it could be the fall of Discofuffle that they just put the heating up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Atticus turns to the rest of the group, like he turns his back to Jeremy, and he's just like... "What? What's Atticus? I can't uh, see... Hold on. Uh, uh, three words. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sounds like it's a, a moving picture. Uh, chicken. Chicken death. Uh, chicken malt. No? Okay. <laughs> Uh, um, Jeremy, I don't think I think that um, maybe the healing didn't fix your bite quite as much as we'd hoped. Um, I can, I can, I, I don't think a lesser restoration is going to fix it though. Oh yeah, you did end up dealing with that guy with the bite wound either. <laughs> you put him in with put him oil. right into oh, the well, that's fine. fucking fridge. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. Whoever comes out of there is going to be like the king of the, the My ship. cousin, no, my <laughs> Irish cousin is just uh, dead. I'm about to be like, you got to oh, make shit. a decision about this. And then I totally forgot. Totally <laughs> forgot. Whoops. Um, <laughs> or you just kept him paralyzed there. <laughs> Tied him to the table or something. Yeah. Yeah. He eventually paralyzed, wakes up. He's like, but where is everyone? (laughs) I I hope you run into that, my Irish cousin, and he's like, got battle wounds and scars and eye patch, and he's just like, this hatred and this anger is like, you you know, being left in this fridge with this zombie. Okay, all right. Uh, Well, we could probably push, push, push. dude, I I mean, I can try and fix it. I don't know how. Hang on. Let me, let me have a look. Uh, why don't you uh, do that thing that you did that made the rest disappear? You want me to Thanos snap you? <laughs> well, I mean, if I'm one of them, then, you know, I'll just turn into a dust. Well, you're not one of them yet. You're not, you're not, not Jeremy yet, you know? But I mean, you, you, you're still they're, here. If they're parasites and then you do it to me, maybe the parasites will go, whoa. <laughs> They'll do what now? <laughs> yeah, ma- Zach, maybe the parasites will go, whoa. Maybe yeah. They'll go, Whoa. So Maybe. you're saying it's not a poison, right? So if I gave him protection from poison, would that delay 
It might it might help delay things, yeah. Delay things? Sure. Hmm. Sure. I, I can I I'll, I'll drop a lesser restoration and we'll see what happens. If it slows it down or I don't know. I don't know how to fix I can't fix it. I can't do anything to fix it. You could definitely it. like help his symptoms and and delay what's going yeah. on. Yeah, Jeremy's going to die. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> I mean, I'm the cleric. I'll figure this out. Don't worry. <laughs> Could just resurrect mm. him right yeah i got revive i could like no wait no i have i have tell you what i do have now uh where the fuck is it hang on hang on it's it's really great uh i have animate dead yeah so oh, we can perfect. have a jeremy pet <laughs> it'll be pet just jeremy. like jeremy <laughs> yeah just put me on nice and then we'll, bring uh, me we'll, we'll get, we'll get um, acorn to druid craft like like some like plants into his body like his dead body and like puppet him around and shit it'll be great It'll be and in we'll no way creepy i mean yeah, i can yeah. i can cast charm person <laughs> <laughs> you know <what>? I mean? <laughs> uh, all right i guess we just got to keep moving until maybe hopefully we can find something that'll fix it like a like a i don't know if this if whoever's done this, if it's a person, maybe they have an antidote somewhere or like a little syringe that says, inject me if Jeremy decides to turn into a monster. I don't know. It seems very specific. I mean, I'm uh, holding on <laughs> to Holding out. Yeah. I have hope. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, I say we just keep moving. And if Jeremy turns into a monster, I'll just obliterate him. I mean... <laughs> no, <What>? my friend. <laughs> You're below uh, decks. Now. You're below decks now, uh, and you walk up uh, through this like uh, narrow corridor to a door that Jeremy, you know, is usually closed. It's like usually um, uh, this is down to like where they keep all like the storage and and whatnot, spare parts for the ship, as well as like all the foodstuffs. This door is set open, and as you kind of glance down into the hangar bay, uh, you can see that it is like swarming with like, there's just not maybe swarming, but like there's definitely a lot of these creatures down here, like dotted around. There's these huge shelves, which go from like floor to like halfway up to this like almost 40 foot ceiling. Um, and yeah, these huge shelf units, like kind of like stacked in, in rows down the the length of this it's almost it's like it's probably like this this section of it is probably like half the length of the ship entirely um you know that uh you know all the all these creatures you can see well people with dark vision at least can see there's there's arcane lights you know kind of like crystals set along the thing but it doesn't illuminate the entire thing um so a few things you know and can share with the group about this area uh Jeremy is that this is so to load this place it actually opens from like there one side of this floor but can open entirely and that's how they load things on uh because it's a flying ship they want to they want to load it from the bottom we gotta drop um controls for that are in the uh and in a room it's like analog con controls obviously like cranks and gear shafts and whatnot um I don't know what a gear shaft is. <laughs> I sure don't. You, did, you said Ooh, it with boy. conviction. I was like, yeah, you really did. Gear shaft. I believed you. I believed you. I feel like a, I feel like Panda's gonna say gear shaft. He was like, <laughs> you don't know what a gear shaft is. Bitch. Um, <laughs> you know that is in a separate kind of, kind of like control office that is probably like halfway down this room. It's probably like. 70 80 feet away um so you what you're looking down on is like this like switchback staircase um that goes down to the to the floor and then you'd have to head across the floor up the stair another set of stairs uh to this little like office that's kind of like built into the into the side of the wall kind of thing all right so i've got two plans for us the first one we leave the ship and we find the shopping center we then hold out in there, find the bus. <laughs> we reinforce the bus, make our way. All right. We, 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 dr <laughs> <laughs> we drive to where the boats are. Yeah. We go to an island. That doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, all right. But second plan, uh, I run, you, but you all, I've already been bitten. And so I might be, you know, in trouble or not. But if I run across the, the ground and get up those stairs, 
and get to those controls and you guys help me distract him, then I, then I can open it up and then you guys can cure me and then this is all good. <laughs> So the problem is if you just sprint across, they're all gonna like bunch up around the office, like the 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 control office, uh, which is not the part of the like not on part of the floor that opens up. Right. Need to cause a, so a we could, need to cause you a could commotion. Be the distract, like yeah. you could, okay. okay, I've got another idea. So uh -huh. rule yes. number one of of dealing with not zombies is not zombies. uh is cardio. So what uh -huh. if I make some noise by hitting my shield, my axe on my shield? And then uh -huh. I just run around the square over and over again. And they'll keep following me. And I'll bring them right where we need them. And then you pull the, butt, the thing and then mm -hmm. it'll fall. Tell me, I could just create a sound in the middle of the floor and they would be attracted to the sound in the middle of the floor without us having to go anywhere. <laughs> and then they go to the sound and then we open up the floor. I mean that's also a pretty good idea. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that. But then we need we need to get to the controls. Are they wait. Did you say they're easy to reach? Are they? Just look like um, you'd have to you have to cross the floor. So you need some way of crossing yeah. the floor without getting torn apart by these creatures. So you, okay. a distraction of some sort is needed. However, you will also still need to move stealthily across this place. Um, getting up there is yeah. It's it's not physically difficult if there wasn't these creatures. Okay. Uh, am I am I like angered by what I'm seeing? Like, do these animals look like they're in pain, or are they looking these, like these, these people? Um, they look. Yeah, they definitely. Oh no, look are, like, they, are they people? Yeah, they're people. Oh, I give a damn. Ah, oh, fuck them. <laughs> I care about animals. I give a damn about humans. Yeah, yeah. food. <laughs> okay. You, you made sure, like the uh, the the rooftop gardens that you tend to were were securely locked. They didn't seem to. Like there wasn't that much, there's not that much foot traffic on the top deck. How big are we talking is this platform? Uh, this, so it's a warehouse, right? Uh, the mm -hmm. warehouse itself is probably a hundred foot long. Oof. Okay. You're at one side of it, 50 foot in is the control office. That's probably up a, a short set of stairs that like kind of overlooks, it's it's built up the, up the wall so that it overlooks. Mm -hmm. It's like got a glass front so that it can overlook the entire warehouse. Can you get them all somewhere together? Is it possible for anyone to make a distraction yeah, absolutely. of where they will all go? If you I mean, can do that, I'll do the rest. I can fly for like a minute. So like, I can be like, look at me. <laughs> and like, be like, ooh, we can't touch this. And they'll be like, ah. You know? <laughs> like, be like, what up? Can't touch this. Mm. And then they'll be like, Rrr. and then you guys can do whatever. Um, that will probably well, we can, oh well i guess thaumaturgy or i've also got thaumaturgy yeah i've well, got thaumaturgy you know, as well i've got this shield and this axe that's pretty much all i've got Just yeah only you do not have to be a battle <laughs> <laughs> but um, right. mine then. <laughs> um so what's the plan um, so in front of you like spreading out it's like it's it's longer than it is wide it's probably 100 feet long probably like 30 35 to 40 feet wide um, do feet are yet? No. <laughs> I'm never going to learn. Wow. Uh, uh, and so you've got like, you've got a whole bunch of cargo in here. Like there's big like shipping crates and, and these like shelves laden with uh, various things that the, that the ship might need throughout its journey. Um, but obviously dotted throughout all of these is these, these humans, these infected humans on the, left side about halfway up the wall and about halfway down is the uh overlooking the overseer's office kind of thing uh that's where the controls to there's cranes within this room uh there is the controls to how the um the right side of the room to in your perspective the right side of the room how that floor uh opens up to Does allow cargo on does it look like does it look like the the giant like shelving units does it look like if we were to kind of like domino them does it look like it would kind of block um the hordes um uh path to where the controls are does it look like we can kind of separate them from where we need to be and where the floor opens it up it would definitely cause a huge ruckus it would be more make them more difficult for them to to move across the space but right. they're kind of dotted everywhere uh, okay. uh, so essentially walkways there's like intended walk like paths 
but down the le- each side of the of the room and like between them as well but mm. um they're dotted everywhere across this space so I feel like we should we should try that whole noise somewhere or i reckon yeah, if something... we throw the noise onto where the platform is um somebody who's possibly more stealthy than one two one two gets up to where the controls are um while the sound is happening so we can get as many of them over in that direction as possible um and then perhaps if things go to shit we can push down the the shelving so that if they do suddenly start to run in that direction again it might block them and that would give it more of a a chance to like drop you know what i mean yeah kind of like if we can kind of like so maybe Jeremy and, and Acorn can can be ready with the shelving. I'll throw Thaumaturgy over uh, onto the platform and maybe Johnny, you can get to Bye. the controls. Um, you're definitely the quickest. Um, and then we'll have our two strongest pushing the shelves over. Um, you just round them up and I'll, I will I got you at that point. Okay. I got a plan. All right. Oh, all right. And, and I can fly, so I can get the fuck away if I need to, but. Uh, yeah. Everyone has their jobs. Uh, Acorn and Jeremy, you are positioned like you're still at the the the, the doorway looking down into the warehouse. Uh, you're sitting at the top of these staircase that kind of switch backs down uh, to, and that's like you'd have to get down there to push the shelves over. But getting down there, you run into the monsters. So you're you're know what you need to do, but you're waiting until the time is right. Um, a good friend. Uh, the, the 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 cleric Atticus, you're ready to throw out your thaumaturgy to kind of create a distraction. Um, please make a uh, spellcasting ability check for me. <gasps> okay, all right. Um, I still don't know how to do those. <laughs> I've been you playing. You just roll D&D a d20 like and, you add, and you add your <laughs> add, spell attack modifier. It is like, that okay? Cool. Yeah. It's, Whenever it's Zach asks me, I panic, and I'm like, <laughs> thank, to, Ooh, thank God for D and D Beyond. That's good. That's good. Play. Uh, that's a 19. 19. You definitely uh, move a, the, the, a decent chunk of them there. Like a lot of the ones that are, are directly in between uh, like the your entrance and where they, the staircase to the overseer's office, the controls office, I should say, uh, are definitely like start to move across. There's definitely still a lot dotted around, but okay. there's definitely some interest in, in heading over that way. Mm-hmm. Um, it's your time to shine, Johnny Peaches. Uh, there we go. It's still there's still like some like that are that are you know are a bit lazier and just kind of like stumbling <laughs> around. You can use the various crates and whatnot that have been left open and, and sometimes torn open uh, as cover as you make your way stealthily across. Um, make your stealth check for me. Okay. Come on, Thank God for D and D Beyond's dice. I know, right? I should have guided you beforehand. Damn it. That's okay. Uh, so 16 on the die, which gives us a 22. Whoa. 22. Uh, you head around this this crate um, further across, like taking your time, waiting for some to, to leave before you, before you hurry along. You get to the bottom of the staircase. You start to head up um, stealthily, stealthily, carefully. Uh, you hope that once you're about a, a, you know, a floor up, um, or at least like up the first landing, that you know these creatures won't look up and you kind of make your way, keep doing silently on these like metal stairs, even like a, a slightly too heavy of footsteps and it'll ring out across this warehouse. Um, but you make your way set inside the office. Um, the controls are there before you. There is a lot of them. Uh, this, 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 there's, there's uh, a yeah, lot gear to- Gear cranks, gear shafts. <laughs> gear shafts, yeah. uh, belt sanders, uh, yeah. some, uh, yeah. You know, um, make an intelligence check for me. Oh, good. Just pure intelligence. Yep. <gasps> Come on, Johnny. Oh. All right, Johnny. Oh. Come on, Johnny. 19 on the die and a 21. That's good. She's 21. Smart. I'm uh, so happy. <laughs> you, that's very, not enough. That's very <laughs> hesitant to, like, flip things and like if you, <laughs> but would have just been doing you this realize that yeah you realize that this is yeah. a, a thing that's complicated would have labels right um sure. so you're like checking labels and you're like oh this it says hang a door um you look out to your friends to make sure that they're gonna uh get as many creatures over to the hangar 
to, the, to where you can drop that platform out as possible. Make a very important perception check for me first. Though. Oh, fuck. Uh, 16, okay? 16 is all right. But? You hear this, like, <laughs> sound as you hear uh, clinking. Not like feet, but like enormous crab legs. Crab claws? Um, crab special! <laughs> thing. You whip your head head around you see this thing unfolding from what can only be described as some kind of like uh like nest uh like drawn from debris on the far side of this room as it kind of unfolds itself it's like these these giant crab legs and where it would meet is more it more looks like a, a sea anemone giant with like these like uh uh, uh, uh stalk like eyes on the end of like like snail's eyes, like peering through between the bristles of these like uh, barbed spikes, as it kind of like move, like turns unerringly towards you and charges you. Roll for initiative, everyone. Oh, that junk. Oh my god. Look. Wait, is just Johnny rolling for initiative, or we? Oh, all everyone is. Oh, Natural shit. twenty. Oh, damn. <laughs> very nice. For initiative, though, that's not where you want to roll a twenty. It's, Eighteen. It's Eight. The 14 on the die. Would I, and this is going to be my Captain America moment, would Ooh. I have noticed with rolling a natural 20, Zach, I just want to point that out <laughs> For initiative. Uh, yeah, yeah, for, for initiative though. Would I have maybe sensed in my druid ways <laughs> and would I have heard this like this, this animal noise that I'd never heard before? You can make it. You'll be able to make a perception on your turn. May well, may I'm be gonna. First. It's better be bloody first. <laughs> uh, I just. I'll, I'll get everyone's initiative down, and then. Oh, okay. uh, oh, so do I add? I add the plus one as well. So that's a twenty-one sack. Just so, just so right. a twenty-one because I have plus one initiative. So. And a thirteen for me. Have you been <clears throat> writing these down, Zach? He I have. Okay. <laughs> Let me just check. 13 for Mr. Jeremy. Mr. No, Jeremy. So Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy. Uh, um, uh, what was what was Johnny Peaches? Sorry. 18. 18. And then for Atticus. 16. Gary. 16. Hi, rollers. Well, not really. I rolled a 14 and I got a plus two to my initiative. My fighter in my other campaign has a plus seven to his initiative. And I'm like, what is happening here? Man, lucky, I used to have those sunglasses. Did you really? <laughs> oh, can you get another pair so we can match? Cute. Yeah. 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 Like when Panda had the pink mullet and nobody could tell us apart when I had pink hair for about a day. <laughs> the same. So, what is happening here? Panda, what you doing, buddy? <laughs> I'm just waiting for him to do initiative. Oh, okay, okay, it's, okay. It's you're up now, but I, I kind of want to see what's happening. Wait, the... Is he drawing the map? This is the map, right? Is this yeah. the map? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're, yeah. we're here, right? Yeah, you're at the, at the bottom of the, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're here, right? <laughs> okay, this these, is awesome. are the, these are the crates around the room, right? Yeah, there's, there's dotted that's crates the here. office. Sure. I'm confused. The office would be on the left-hand side, up the oh, wall. Oh, up the wall. Yeah. On the, on the, yeah, yeah, there. Okay. The, the room goes longer than that, but yeah, that's that's a good for what you're going to be playing okay. in. That is a good. So you know the crate that's right here, right? The sure, one that's right you know there. you know that one, right? <laughs> that one, yeah. <laughs> we all love that crate. Oh, right. crazy. Because yeah. I've rolled a twenty, okay, <laughs> yeah. for initiative, okay? because I hear crab man. <laughs> might be a crab man. You'll have to make a perception check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's Johnny, Johnny Peaches, right? Yeah. I would like to notice what's going on. Okay. I want to. Okay. Dodge a zombie here. Dodge another zombie here. Go here. Leap off this crate. Smash through the window of the the, the office window. And turn into a bear while I'm smashing through the window. Land in front of Johnny Peaches and just go. <laughs> so I, you, don't I, to, you don't even have to roll for that. You don't even have to roll for that. Yeah. No, you're gonna have to make a lot of rolls. Uh, game sucks. <laughs> I'll say, make a perception check. Okay. 
first. <sighs> it's an eight plus something. What's what's uh uh perception plus four. All right. Uh with with so that'd be a twelve. Yeah, you're I given how already all of you are kind of like wired to be looking out for anything going wrong. You don't know necessarily expecting this. Extremely but... quiet, by the way. We're extremely stealthy. <laughs> You're going to sprint you said, across this you, room? No. Remember it's... you said if, if she missteps on the stairs, it'll echo throughout the entire warehouse. Absolutely. Absolutely. And big old crab man walked out and went <laughs> <laughs> Right? You don't think I would have heard that? Picture you definitely Mr. Water News from Monsters Inc. Like that scary dude who looks like you know? I hate that guy. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, just imagine that in your head if you if you want to. Um, okay, so you want to sprint across this room. Sprint like yeah. in, in, all, cause, in reality, you said it's a hundred feet long, did you? The whole room. However, the 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 office is only fifty foot down. Like because you're. Panda, keep in mind, he has no idea what feet are. He doesn't. <laughs> Also that. Okay, he does not know what that means. He just keeps using it's it as a measurement. Word, but, uh, like, I I'm you know saying what it means. <laughs> the entire room is 100 foot, like stretches 100 feet in front oh. of you. However, the office is only about 50 feet. Uh, like it's it's halfway down the room. Oh, okay, I mean, that makes sense. Okay. Yes. So what if I didn't turn into a bear? Wait, wait, wait. What if I turned into a raptor? Okay. Ooh. Which has 60 oh. or a dire beast, but Raptor has pounce. So I have 50, 50 speed, very fast. If you didn't very know in the rules, that's <laughs> very quick. Okay. Only followed by my jump, or I could turn into a giant toad. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't used um. it yet. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Awesome. Standing leap. The toad <laughs> long jump is 20 foot and its high is up to 10 feet without <laughs> even a running start. With or without. So I just could go frogman. <laughs> yay! And that's the exact noise I would make. And just, <laughs> yay! And just yank myself across the room. I'll say or, if you or, really... or up to you. <laughs> Hunter does have an ability called Pounce, which would make a lot more sense, but I'm willing to turn into a giant toad and yeet myself across. The benefit the of the frog, it, it's going to be very loud. You're going to call, like, if you're going this direction, if you're this, this kind of, this general plan, whether it's frog or raptor, <laughs> uh, you are going to cause a lot of attention to get, like, head towards the, the office. Um... You're saying you, my plan sucks. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying that saying this plan is... A, I'm saying that there is consequences to reaction. There's no perfect plan that gets you everything that you want. That's bullshit, uh, Zach. This is why I signed up to d and <laughs> fucking kidding me? Yeah, I can't quit. Okay. So I my quit. Action? Listen, <laughs> if this economy, I'm going to do my original plan then. It's a lot easier. So where we have all the zombies all grouped up, yeah. Well, I'm assuming I have initiative first, right? I'm not over talking anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right you, you, okay, okay. Your first initiative. Uh, where we? How many of them do we have grouped up, like uh, roughly? A, a, a decent number of them. They they've only right now been like drawn by uh, a thaumaturgy. So while they are for this round uh, drawn to this area, they'll quickly go bored because it's doesn't it's not actual meat or anything. Like there's. I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna fix that. Okay, okay. so. I can't cast two spells in one turn, can I? It's just one. No, I still I do love this 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 frog maneuver. By the way, it's you have other party members to deal with. You know, uh, it's fine. Different if you want to do it, go frogman. If okay. you want to do frogman, go frogman. Yeah, go frogman. We'll, well take care I was going to cast. I was going to cast sleet storm because I haven't got to use that yet. It's my level third spell Ooh. on top of all the ones that we have rounded up. Right until the spell ends. Rain freezing and sleets fall in a 20-foot cylinder with a 40-foot radius centered at a point of your choosing with an 150-foot range. When the creatures enter the spell area for the first time, uh, on a turn, it star, it, the turn starts there. They must make a, de a dexterity saving throw. On failed throw, they fall prone. Ooh, so surely okay. they would be drawn towards that, right? There'd and be the ones that are inside that, that also, however, because that spell has a verbal component, you have to speak out loud to cast that spell. That's how spells yeah, work. Yeah, but you can whisper. 
cannot whisper the spell. <laughs> Sleet. <laughs> Sleet. No, you have to you have to command the elements. Oh, you can't skeet, do that skeet. in a whisper. Um, Depends on yes! your personality, oh! I reckon. Says the rules yes! of the game. <laughs> That's, you know what? Let's change that. Start a petition. <laughs> you know, there is like like for instance, the sorcerer has an ability to cast spells without a verbal okay. or, or so they can cast sound. Fuck it! Uh, I'm turning into a frog. I'm yeah, turning into a frog, right. and I'm leaving at the office. We see Acorn's uh, uh, like metallic form like shift the the metal plates like buckle and and like move to the back to to create this like form of like a toad uh vine the vines within him that make up his body start to grow and thicken to make powerful back legs as he moves forward uh the vines creating this huge like uh, uh gullet um <laughs> a, a viney tongue pokes out of his mouth before darting back into his mouth and he leaps uh, clears the the uh, the staircase down into the warehouse, halfway into the warehouse, lands on top of a uh, of one of the the shelves, and then leaps again, smashing through the um the, <laughs> the, the window of the thing, taking I think <laughs> two points of slashing damage from the window I'll as you it. bust through it. Um, those are your bonus action. That's your movement. Uh given that you are just like street leaping across and you can move like much more directly than someone would have to, like you don't have to go up the stairs and, and whatnot. You don't have to wind between the, the crates. Um, you're smashing through, you have your action left. There's this creature you see before you. Um, what are you doing with your action? Do I have like a lick attack? Uh, well, well, be, I think you have a tongue attack. <laughs> I have swallow. Oh, fucking gobble is that it a, What size is this creature? This is a large creature. Ah, oh. you shifty bastard. <laughs> 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 Not intentionally uh, to get in the way of your plans. It's just... It, I, it, oh, you knew I would do something like that. <laughs> I knew, you I knew. knew. <laughs> I, suspe- I had my suspicions. Classic acorn move right there. <laughs> Turn into a big frog. Okay, I'm going to bite him then. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Nah. Take that bite on. Okay. Uh, here we go. That's a seven. I'm going to assume that misses. Uh, seven total? Se- uh, seven or plus seven on, the die. seven on the die. I'm trying to find out my giant toad stuff. Uh, do I add my strength? Ah, uh, hit. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you add, it's probably four. Five, five. What? You add plus four to your hit. So it's plus four to hit. Okay, so five. it's eleven. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's eleven. Eleven does hit. What? Uh, this thing is not very difficult to hit. It's kind of like it's kind of like uh like, but it's it's hard to get a well roll roll damage, which is one d ten. Okay, one d ten plus two. Trying to make sure I roll the right dice, not like Joel. <laughs> uh, that is a that's a six. So that's an eight. Eight, uh, and you take two points of da- of piercing damage back as you try and like uh, jump and like bite down on it. The barbs of its of its like uh, like spikes ah, coming yeah. out of it uh, tend to like uh, pierce in through your through your like little froggy gums. Um, <laughs> how much damage was that total? Eight. Eight. Yes. Sorry, my turn took so long. Everyone, sorry about that. No, that's you're okay. fine. That was amazing. Yeah, I love it. Was it. Worth it. Yeah. I've, been watching, I've been watching heaps of MacGyver. Oh, <laughs> so I'm just, you know, yeah. <laughs> that's, I that's basically dug that turn. That was a great, that was a great yeah. opening turn. However, now you see the rest of you. Uh, Johnny, it's your turn. But mm-hmm. you hear like scrambling from outside as this thing like bears down on you and Acorn. Um, <laughs> you hear the scrabbling <laughs> of, or, of the horde heading towards the office now. I just um, remembered Joel's the only person I can't see in the dark. <laughs> so he's just sitting there by himself. <laughs> there are there are like emergency lighting. There's, like there's like crystals of light, uh, which provide a dim illumination. But there's de- like you can't see uh, in the thing, for instance. You can't, He's probably you, still trying to talk to me. Acorn. Yeah. Is, do we push it's it now? Zombie just next to. <laughs> I've agreed to do this whole plan where it's like, all right, on my signal, I'll give you a signal, and then we push them, and I'm like, yeah, no problem, and I'm just standing there in pitch black. What's the signal? Is it a light? Is it a sound? No. Get 
care if he has a full fledged conversation with a zombie. <laughs> Becomes his best mate. <laughs> sorry, uh, sorry. I got distracted. Oh, it is your turn. No, no, you're fine. Um, oh. My turn. Yeah, me. I'm so rude. Uh, let's see. Crab thing about to attack. Probably bad. <laughs> yep. What? <Yep. laughs> Probably bad. Could Probably maybe bad. not, though. Maybe not. Maybe, Maybe not. Have you tried talking to it? <laughs> no, I speak no. with plants, not speak with animals, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. Um, Zach. Yes. <laughs> For the sake of this campaign, Stop is this that. office made out of metal? <laughs> yeah, it, it would be made out of metal. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the sturdy is the warehouse what? office. It wouldn't the be. The whole thing? The whole thing? Yeah. The floor? It, it probably is partly made of wood. Um, but <laughs> to avoid a fire hazard, this like is largely made out of metal. It's, it's part of the ship. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So metal. if I cast heat metal on the office, <laughs> <laughs> you'd broil yourself alive? <laughs> maybe I will. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. <laughs> There's got to be something um, in the office that that you could jump on, like a table, and then you're like, "I will sit on the filing cabinet in the corner." You can step <laughs> up on the console controls, so you can you can you can burn. I'll say you probably wouldn't be able to like affect the entire thing, but definitely like the floor. If you want a floor is made of lava, this place. Yeah. Ooh. Panda, would that affect your character too terribly? I mean, I could just leap onto something. I guess. Okay. This turn, this turn, he will take this damage. So yeah, unfortunately, uh, you would take the heat metal damage this turn. That's all right. By the way, Atticus, you're up next. Um, so, uh, Johnny, you uh, how do how do you cast this spell? I would just assume it's heat metal. Uh, this yes, it is heat metal. Oh, okay. Who am I? I apologize. <laughs> Who am I? Who to, am I? Uh, <laughs> apologize to Acorn. <laughs> um, uh, Johnny is going to. Start humming and then touch the floor, and then the floor starts humming. And then that's oh, how heat metal happens. Vibrating and it's just like vibrates at the perfect frequency, and then just like you hear that like red, red hot. And uh, <laughs> Johnny, you see, you can finally see inside the, the office as it glows this with this red heat um, and starts to burn this creature as it like kind of like tries to scramble and, and take its legs off the burning floor, but it's everywhere and it can't move away from it. Um, mm. <laughs> How much damage does it take? 20 ports. 24? 20. Oh, 20. 20 points of damage. Right. That's me too, right? I took 20 points of damage? Yeah, righto. <laughs> righto. Um, That's the last time level I bust through a window. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's you right. smell the, the quite enticing smell of frog legs burning. Um, oh, I get it now. Ah, because she's French. Ah, she's French. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, do you want to do anything with your movement or bonus action? Uh, oh, the, well, the movement was to move on top of something so I do not fry myself. Right. It's, you, um, I think you're perched on top of the, the controls. You still yep. know which control, by the way, opens the thing. But uh, Correct. there is probably other concerns right now for you. Um, bonus Immediately. Action. Bonus action would be Bardic Inspiration to Acorn. Cool. Uh, I say I apologize, and that's <laughs> me being inspirational. <laughs> Atticus, it is your turn. You see the group of, of the undead uh, heading towards uh, your your friends in the, in the thing. They haven't, they haven't properly moved yet, but you see all their heads start to move and turn, and uh, they're starting to like slowly stumble towards and like picking up pace. Uh, okay, all right. Um, no, I need to keep them on the platform. So um, I'm going to I'm going to run um, and very loudly start like waving my arms and being like, over here, oi, oi, you pricks, get over here, come have a piece of Atticus. And I'm going to bamf out my wings. <laughs> And I'm gonna I'm gonna fly just above their heads, kind of thing. Like I'm keeping my feet up. I'm being like, <laughs> yeah. um, but I'm gonna go right over to where the platform is, and I'm just gonna yep. make a racket. Uh, yeah. Uh, make a performance check for me. I have a plan. <laughs> <laughs> I 
game plan. Performance check. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god, it was a natural 20. <laughs> with, hey. a plus one, with a plus one. With a plus one. With a strong Wait, is plus, it a plus one. one? Yes, it is. Uh, a plus one. You I'm definitely mean- uh, draw the attention of all these creatures. You see from from the far side, where you're, even where you're like your your natural dark vision ends, you see more and more creatures starting to like pour out of the darkness towards you as you're flying over this like this platform, which takes up uh, like one half of this entire uh, like warehouse. As you're flying across them, they're starting to like run towards you, oh, and God. you see a few starting to like like they're not completely brain dead. They're, some of them are, are like climbing up the shelves, and you see like uh, oh, no. sprinting down like the shelving units to like run towards you. Oh, um, no. <laughs> that's Atticus's turn. That was your action. Is it your action to bamf out the wings? Yeah, it is. Cool. Cool. Um, Great. I thought they were slow zombies. They're not slow. Nope. No, nope. They're Jeremy, fast ones. They're Jeremy 28 days later. <laughs> turn. So, am I standing behind a filing cabinet ready to push them over? That was the plan. That was the plan. Well, you were you were braced at the door, ready to run in and push them over if you if 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 needs be, basically. Okay. Would I have heard what's going on when Akon saw this crab thing? Oh yeah, happen? there. So you you definitely see what's going on. Uh, it's there is crystals set into the walls at regular intervals that give some level of illumination to this this room. You can and you can more more than see. You can definitely hear what's going on. You can hear that like the the and like see you know, vague silhouettes in the darkness of these creatures running towards the, the office, the overseer's, o- the control office, where now you see quite illuminated since it's glowing red. Um, and then you saw what Atticus did, Atticus bamfing out uh, his wings and flying over the group, like drawing attention to himself. Uh, and you, can definitely, you can definitely see like them like jumping out onto the shelves. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Acorn. Are you, is that the sign? Is that the oh, signal? Akon? I, th- I think that's the signal. Okay, then. I think Jeremy's <laughs> just going to run in and start pushing this filing cabinet. You like I vault that... <laughs> off the stairs, like the, the stairs switch back down to get to the, the, the warehouse floor, but you like head down to the, the, the first uh, landing instead of going on the way, you just vault over, over the side, hit the ground three point landing, and just like from that position, launch yourself up into like a, like a, like a charge, charging tackle and hit your way into the side of this thing. You're making Gary your, uh... way too cool. <laughs> so cool, man. Um, he, he farts a little bit. As yeah, there we go. That's better. <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> Uh, just a squeaky one coming out. <laughs> no. uh, um, make a strength check for me. Okay. Oh, Jeremy. Zach, yeah. you're not going to like my next turn. <laughs> Am I not? Ooh. I love it. I love it already. Uh, yeah, you yeah, might, same. actually. You might. That's you an 18. That's an 18. An 18. Uh, I'll say yes. You you, you push uh, the, the, the this first one over, and it's like wobbles back. You also almost feel like it's going to come back towards you before you like put your back in and you feel something in your back like strain a little bit and you oh. push it back over and, <laughs> hit, and it starts to hit and that domino effect starts going down. Um, at the end of this, at the end of the uh, this whole round, it'll it'll have knocked every shelf over. Um, um, and now yep. it is the creature's turn inside. This Mr. Water News. No. <laughs> See its bug eyes, like it's it's like little snail eyes, like flicking back and forth between you. Uh, um, it's going to make uh, several attacks here. It's gonna make what um, now? It's gonna it's gonna fucking what? <laughs> you know what? Is a twelve attack uh, hit. Sorry. Hit who? Uh, you. Uh, no. Johnny Peaches. <laughs> no. Um, that is unfortunate. Um, ooh, does a seventeen hit you, Acorn? Yes. Um, as it like, so these these kind of like uh, sea and enemy spikes are being fired from it. Uh, one is fired towards you, uh, uh, Johnny, but you dive behind the uh, the um, console, the, the controls for this this place, and it like ricochets off and smashes through the window and out. Uh, <laughs> and the other one embeds itself firmly into your, into your like uh, like viney flesh, acorn, uh, dealing. Five points of piercing damage, and oh, are you friggin' immune to goddamn two points of poison damage? 
Yeah. Yeah, I don't take poison. <laughs> yeah, of course you don't. Uh, so just the five points of piercing. I mean, I'm almost done anyway, so don't worry. <laughs> um, Toads aren't as strong as acorn. Just <laughs> to say that. Oh, shit. Um, I think as these as these shelves are collapsing, you're trying to race them back towards them. So you're so you're away from the uh, uh, the, the the zombies trying to leap off the shelves, but you, the two of them manage to leap out towards you, uh, Atticus, and they're going to try and make attacks. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 <laughs> try and make grapple checks. Actually, no. They try and grab me. you and drag you down. No. Um, that is going to be so you're gonna to have to make uh either acrobatics or athletics checks of your own to avoid these. Okay, all right. I'm gonna make an acrobatics check because I'm doing else. <laughs> okay, this is There's 17. A, so you beat the 15 and then make another one. Okay. Okay. Uh 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 acrobatics, acrobatics, acrobatics. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh, ooh. Oh god. Uh <laughs> trying to beat a seven. <laughs> Do you beat a seven? Atticus? <laughs> oh no. I rolled a five. <laughs> I rolled a five too. <laughs> well, I rolled a three and I got five all up because he's got a plus two to acrobatics. Oh no. So this first one you managed to like bank oh. around, but then the second one leaps from oh. one of the the um the uh shelves that are collapsing. You didn't see it and it just blindsides you, grabs into you, and you're like now like stunt like what? falling backwards. You can't get your, your your wings under you as you're trying to like account for two like this like this weight on top of you. Oh, um and oh, you're God. heading now further towards the ground. Ah. Um Acorn, it is your turn. Oh shit. I'm gonna die. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna fall into the <laughs> We're all of zombies. Die. So I'm a toad, crab thing, <laughs> and then old beta sitting on like a shelf now or something like that. So the floor got heated up. So we've dropped down to the lower level now, right? No. So no, the floor is just hot, like heated. Um, you're okay. still in this in this uh, control room. Uh, it's like halfway up uh, the wall, um, probably like twenty feet up, I would say. Okay, so supported by like metal, like stilts. We're in the office though. Still, you're right? still in the office. You and and Johnny Peaches are in the office with this creature that's attacking you. Okay. So the, I, the plan, the plan definitely Acorn was to. Acorn has never been hit that hard before, right? I've yeah. never been. I I went from almost alive to dead very quickly. <laughs> However, when your animal form runs out, you just revert back to your normal HP. True, but that would not explain my train of thought right now. In my sure, mind, it's... this is the strongest thing we've ever seen. Yeah. And I feel like as a Warforge, and as I feel like my first thought process is going to be, we cannot let this happen to anyone else. I'm going to turn back into my normal self and pull the lever. Sorry, okay. Jeremy. <laughs> Make an intelligence check. Do I need to? Because we, we obviously know where it is, though. Because Old Mate was uh, already on the levers. Johnny, Johnny knew where it was. Johnny figured it out. Could I ask Johnny? <laughs> I, can yeah, I sure. Talking my, is a reaction. Can I make my plea? Talking, talking is a reaction. reaction. So All right, you're like, back, what? Uh, yeah, you turn I back, turn into, back a... into We need to do this, Johnny. This thing is too strong. We can't let this happen everywhere. We need to Wait. kill this thing now and get rid of these creatures. Wait. Atticus is flying outside the window. Atticus, Atticus is like falling. Just this getting thing, absolutely like... annihilated. Wait, is that happening in the background? <laughs> yeah, you can see Atticus getting dragged down to the ground. All the zombies beneath her, like reach uh, beneath him, like reaching up, like some standing on each other's. Like you feel one hand on your on your ankle. Pull the Atticus, lever. You pull the lever from Atticus. Uh, so, um, is it my turn now? No, it's it's Acon's turn. It's Acon's turn. It? I'm I'm ripping it. Let her rip. <laughs> you pull the lever. Um, the entire this entire like half of the of the ship opens up boom, this huge loud grinding sound boom before it drops and you see some of these, these shelves that have uh, fallen over start to like 
given that they're not like 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 uh set back anymore they've all fallen over they start to like slide and drop out the one that you're like you get caught on your shoulder uh uh jeremy as you're getting like Oof. start to get pulled down with it uh all these all the all these zombies start to fall down however atticus there is still one holding on to you uh and then it is the only thing between you and water probably hundreds and hundreds of feet down below you uh you start to like now get pulled uh the, the weight of both creatures uh pulling you down beneath the uh you're out in open air now um it is johnny's turn now, can't yeah. I still cast something? Because all I did was uh, turn into something and then pull a lever. Uh, so yeah, so you b- bonus action, you use your free object interaction to pull the lever. Yeah, I'll say you can definitely... Um, I'm going to also action. step on something and then cast Heat Metal level 3. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Heat Metal yeah. Buds! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roast, roast crab so, tonight. I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that Zach's going to pick up on what I... Because I know it's only a one-off session and I don't know if his mind's going to go in the same way that mine does. But I want to hate the the like the floor under the crab thing. <laughs> All right, I'll say if you can deal more than twelve points of damage with this roll, the floor will give out. Ooh, that's amazing. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do I roll? Uh, um, roll what level are you casting it at? Third level. Uh, th- uh it says. Second level, but it comes up as my third level spells. Yeah, so uh, that'll so give you an extra D8. It. So you can okay. cast it as so a third level spell. Yeah, it's 3D8. 3D8, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm casting as that. So what do I just D20? So uh, so no, so you no. Just, just roll 3D8. Heat uh, metal is spell. OP. It's yeah. so good. Okay. So good. Four. Four. Eight. so as it like uh like starts to pick towards you you can see like the the molten slag starting to like stick to its limbs before it's like trying to like reach out for you it takes all that damage and before it can like reach out to you it starts to fall and like and and the office like just turns to complete slag and it drops through uh, hitting the ground underneath it, and also like it's on, it lands on one of these shells that are sliding out, uh, out into the, like the void basically, uh, and it's like trying to pick itself up as it like burns itself on this like molten metal that's dripping down on top of it. Um, uh, now it is. Uh, so how much damage was that total? Sorry for uh, uh, do I is there plus anything or not? Just just that, just the straight. Uh, so sixteen. I have to do maths now. Cool. Um, I think D&D is a way to trick kids into doing maths. Yeah. 100%. Uh, yeah. You think I'm I'm gay. I don't want to do maths. And I've started playing D&D and I'm like, shit, now I'm going to sit in my chair properly and do maths. Holy <laughs> fuck. I didn't sign up for it. <laughs> Johnny, it is your turn. Um, so that slag is still all over its bits, right? Uh, it is. Yeah, it is. It has fallen down. It has hit one of these uh, shelves that is like like sliding towards the thing, but it's picking itself up and trying to uh, to land. right. But it's still got the metal on it, Zach. Still got the metal on it. Yes. Good. Okay. So bonus action would be three three d eight again. Three d eight again. <laughs> That's a five, a seven, and eight, which gives me a twenty. Oh, twenty Damn. points of damage. <laughs> Heat metal is redonk. So, redonk. All right. You can smell fresh crab. Delicious. Yeah, you should eat some of it. It's not a crab. <laughs> you should eat some of Zach. it. I hear things, good things happen. Crab special. <laughs> no! So how big, so you said this thing is large, so it takes up a 10 by 10 foot radius. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. So if I catch shatter directly on it. Oh, yeah, that's going to, it's not going to like that a lot. Great. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it. Get it, girl. Get uh, so it, girl. it needs to make a save, like a constitution save. Constitution save. Does it does shatter uh, throw people? 15? Sorry. That's 15, go. Uh, just one over. Damn. Just that one over. So it takes half damage, right? Um, It should. Hold on a second. Do, 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 do. The creature takes 3d8 on failed or half as much on successful. Okay, so. um. So you turn and with like. Oh, it's 48 what, what because we're little... casting at third level. Nice. So what little glass was left on the front of this, this uh, you like spin, you're standing on the, uh, on the, uh, the, the, what's left of the, like the controls. Um, 
and you play up like you start to so how does the spell go um she pulls her fiddle off her back really quick and then puts it and then just this extremely high-pitched yeah. note shockwave of sound like shatters what little glass <laughs> that was left and just like as that. it like starts to pick itself up um this like wave of sound hits and it like reels back taking how much damage 13 points 13 points is that hard would have been, or? oh that is halved it would have been 27 had it not been Ooh. it's 48 13 do, do, do. Got a five a seven a seven and an eight um uh Atticus it's your turn how many of them are on me uh what it's so the rest have like the rest have mostly like dropped now that the 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 platform opened up so you don't have the the entire group but there is one definitely on you there's like grab one on. motherfucker yeah Fuck. right I'm gonna grab onto this motherfucker's face and I'm gonna cast inflict wounds at second level <laughs> what kind of damage does inflict wounds do it oh actually it's necrotic maybe I won't do that uh maybe. would probably be resistant to necrotic damage not all not all undead you know definitely that not all undead are resistant or immune to mm. necrotic damage mm. and especially you would guess that given these are some kind of like these have living creatures within them they are being driven by a parasite yeah you can make yeah. a you can make a religion check if you want or a okay. yeah religion undead uh, a queries fall check. under religion okay. so you can make a religion check cool that's a 14 14 yeah you, you're pretty sure that given this isn't like animated by necessarily a direct for, force of a uh, form of magic okay these would be affected by a necrotic damage. they're Ooh. still a living creature kind of sweet all right cool i'm gonna i'm gonna inflict wounds to just get it to go away from me um, <laughs> do you have to roll a thing or yeah i've got a, uh, an attack all right so that is so it's a 26 to hit oh hits you, yeah, you cool. it, like you're flying around and um you manage to like right yourself your your wings uh turn it such that you're like you're on top of it so you like grab it by its face as its jaws are like inches from your neck grab it and what are you okay. doing I do. That's thirty-four points of damage. Oh my god! Get the wow. fuck off me! Just like, boom, and this like, uh, this force of dark magic just like throws it, and you're gonna see its bits like coming apart and exploding into the group of falling um, undead beneath you. You see, like hitting into the the water far, far below, turning it to froth. All right, uh, I just surge up towards the others again. I'm going the fuck to where it all, like, I saw the place glowing yeah <laughs> so, so as you, as you kind there. of like turn back and see the, your thing you see Garamy is caught on oh, this, this one of the shelves like getting like like uh falling slowly out of the like out of the ship and you okay. also see the creature riding itself ready to jump off the like back onto solid land okay um, I'm, go I'm, I'm gonna head to, with my movement I'm gonna head towards Garamy are you sure yeah they're on the they're on the <laughs> same one in fact I'm gonna save you again Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is reoccurring. <laughs> um, Garamid, it's your turn. So I'm I'm caught on the scene. Can I get myself off of the Shelby unit, or am I like uh, kind of, what kind yeah. of caught on? You can that? try. Um, this would be you, you, It's like essentially like uh, as it can pass, like uh, you got one of your like it caught your chainmail, and oh, um, you kind of like hooked into into Ooh. it. Like there's there's a yeah. bit like a uh, like. Um, some like chains have like uh, not chains, but like something like jutting out has like hooked onto one of your the rings of your chainmail. Okay, I guess I'm, I'll use my action to try and break, pull myself off of this, break free of the shelving. All right, make a make a strength check. I wanna break okay. free. I wanna break free. Oh man! Break free. All right, so that was a ten, <laughs> but but I'm gonna action surge and try. Oh, again. nice. I yeah, do so. Again. Good shit. Because I know how to play. So yeah. that's a fifteen. It's a fifteen. So it's not even 15. like super bad. Uh, but it's enough. Like okay. you, yeah. you, you're sitting there. You're taking, you take You realize, like, as this thing is sliding off, you you feel that slight tilt as it's like going more out out of this ship than in, and you like adrenaline surge through you. You break free and jump onto uh, uh, solid land. Um, so you've got your movement and your bonus action left. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, you see this creature, like, uh, like on on one of the shelves itself. It's like one of its legs caught, like uh, trying to pull itself out. 
Um, I don't have it headed. I don't have any attacky bonus action things. I just glare have, at it real hard. Yeah, I give are it you a headed, good are old glare. Basically, are I'm, you heading towards it or away from it? Uh, I'm heading towards it. I think okay. shield in one hand and uh, sword in the other. Make a constitution <gasps> saving throw for me. Oh, I'm sorry, Yikes. what? Oh, no, he's still got the shrew. Oh, yeah. It's a oh, 10. God. This could go either way. Uh, <laughs> you get about halfway before you, like, drop to one of your knees and you feel, like, your consciousness, like, draw, like about to pass out and you're holding on to a sliver of your consciousness it rolled past the 20 to an 8 and I was like no <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you sure you're not proficient in constitution saving throws Am I? oh wait what did I roll <laughs> oh I got a 13 <laughs> yeah it was a constitution you, I mean you still pretty it. much the same oh, thing yeah, right. so oh. <laughs> um there are uh up at Jeremy, it is the creature's turn. It leaps off. Um and given that you are the closest creature to it and it needs to feed, it is going towards you, uh Garamy. Um question. Would it go yes. towards Garamy as soon as he's already infected? It might say it is one of his own. Um he's not all the way, plus it does mm. like there is a reason that it infects people and it is to draw it to it. Okay. Uh, for the express I, purpose of eating. Um, yeah. So, uh, gross. Um, it is going to attempt to. Uh, so it's like from kind of like almost it's like underbelly. It has these two like short uh, like pincer like uh, appendages. It comes towards you, like rears up a little on its back legs and like grasps at you with them. Um, that is a twenty three to hit. Yeah, that's uh, that's it. That's it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, make I'm a... so happy this is a one shot because I don't, I don't <laughs> want Jeremy to die to a crab man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is eight points. Uh, sorry, ten points of piercing damage as it like grabs onto you, and you are considered restrained. Uh, it's gonna hit you with the other claw because why not? Actually, it's gonna use one of its. Uh, uh, spikes to shoot at you, um, Atticus, uh, as you kind of like like swooping towards Jeremy. Um, no, leave me alone. Like a that is a chunk. How do you like? Oh, three on the die. Yeah. Uh, one of them spears towards you. Like you just as uh, it comes, like streaking towards you, and you like duck and roll out of the way. Oof. Oof. Um. Do, 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 do. No Zambies left. Uh, it is now Acorn's turn. Yes, Acorn, get it. I uh, I approach the edge of the window that I smashed through. Yeah. Um, I turn to my friend who's still left in the office with me. Yeah. I turn to them and just smile. <laughs> a smile that might look a little bit different than my normal smile. I leap out of the window no, and I turn not. into a giant octopus <laughs> and I cast ink cloud or tentacles, whatever you'll let me do on the way down. Yeah, and try absolutely. and grab this thing and take it with me. <sighs> what the fuck? <laughs> hey, Harm. Excuse me? I'm already gone. I've smiled. I've already, yeah. I've already jumped out of the window because you... I can transform twice per day, right? Yeah. So yeah. yeah, giant octopus, and then I can either do ink cloud, which is a twenty foot radius extends uh, around the octopus. Um, the area is heavily obscured for one minute. And the significant, uh, although significantly can be dispersed, the ink after releasing the ink, the octopus uh, can use a dash action as a bonus action, or I'll just straight up try and grab him and yeah. grapple him, and just I try think. and take him off the ship with me. All right, this comes down to, I will describe what happens, but d this comes down to the attack roll. Um, so make it now and then we'll, we'll see how oh this goes. Can you, can you use your ink cloud and then an attack roll? Uh, I don't know. It says actions. Just but I do have, remember I've got like, uh, I took combat, I've got warcaster as well. Sure. So yeah, that's gonna play. that affects your spell casting more, but um, I'm just going to see if the giant octopus has like multi-attack <laughs> um, or can can uh 
can't believe I don't have. No, I think it just it just gets one attack. All right. Um, um, you still have. I just want to grab him. I just want to yeah. grab him and and like my trajectory <clears throat> taken with me. So you jump out the window in your, in your normal human form. There is one of these uh, giant uh, shells that are still like sliding out. Um, it is ahead of you, but there's like a chain like trailing from them. You grab the chain and sort of get pulled across uh, the the warehouse floor out towards the void. As you go like sliding past it, you turn into an ox. Like your your form changes, twists. Uh, it looks like you're like bursting into like a sunburst as vines come out, but then they reform into like what is more like si- semi recognizable as an, a giant octopus form. <clears throat> your uh, your tentacles lash out towards this creature. One of them wrapped firmly around this chain that is that is an uh, anchor, a dead weight but we'll send you below. Um, make your attack roll. Uh, oh, 16. 16. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, you will take, you know, six points of piercing damage as you, as you like grab onto the barbs, the tentacles wrapping, they have so much to grip is, and you, and you like wind your tentacles around it as it starts to pull. Um, with Garamy still Sorry, Garamy. Yeah. in its grasp. <laughs> Look, it's I fine. I was I a zombie from the first failed roll I did this game. <laughs> like <it's... laughs> um, you plummet, all of you, sliding out of the out of the cargo hold, out into free fall. And Atticus and Johnny rush to the edge, the edge of the of the open cargo hold to see them. <laughs> Splash! Hit the water, and we'll end it there. <laughs> it was nice knowing you two. Yeah, we just we bump and we're like, we did it, no. and then we walk yeah. away. I think it flashed you so know, much. This was my, awesome. my, my turn before. I was hoping so bad, right? I was hope, and I, I. That's why I said, like, I hope you you get my train of thought. I was hoping so bad that because it's just a one-off one, you were gonna go. Okay, you heat the floor below him. He falls through and then continues to fall. The issue with that is you guys didn't kill him and he lands in water and it's a crab. He now has landed and spreads the disease across the entire world. <laughs> Every single person dies. And I, was like, I was like, in my mind, I was like, I hope he goes and realizes what I'm trying to do. I, I love the idea that you jump uh, forward like a month from now and Acorn has killed this thing, and then there's just, like, zombie Garamy hanging out with Acorn, being like, uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, you'd, be, you'd be down with it. You wouldn't necessarily be dead. You'd be, like, fighting this weird crab monster down in the yeah. depths below. Yeah. No, Acorn, Acorn brings Garamy's, like, body back, and oh, yeah. like, Garamy died, and then Atticus is like, I can fix that. And he's like, just a zombie forever. Zombie it's like, yeah, it's pretty much the yeah, but he's... <laughs> he's exactly he's the, same. the same questions. Hang on. Yeah, so you he's... are the octopus. Yeah, that's you find out that he's been a zombie this whole time. It's just been this is the state of mind. Thank that you. Was that was amazing. That was amazing. Thank you guys. That was for the super game. Awesome. super fun. So we've been so this is Bamless Gory. We stream every Friday night, 7 p.m. <laughs> Australian Eastern yeah. Standard Time. Uh what this channel? Is, like what channel do we stream? Uh, that's twitch.tv <laughs> slash I speak giant. Um we this is our this is all the characters that we play we do play like the boundless glory the ship is a central part of the story i won't ruin too much but it's like it's it's uh it's kind of a a tale of surviving on a deserted island um all all my players thank you so much for joining us joel who are you what do you do i'm joel and i am (laughs) fuck never get ready for this ever (laughs) Hi, I'm Joel, and you can find me on Twitter. It's Lontre, and I do a whole bunch of stuff. I do a bunch of video video stuff, live streaming stuff. I don't know. Go check out my Twitter or Probably not. Suck at this so but bad. if you follow him. <laughs> and Fel, who are you? <laughs> uh, you can catch me on Twitter at F E Z T I V U S. Um, I make tabletop games in my spare time, and I also do PR for video games in my daytime. And uh, I just, I really like games. <laughs> That's cool. Yep. Um, Panda, who are you? What do you do? Where can the lovely people find you? Uh, Panda TV on Twitch, uh, Panda TV OC on all social media, Instagram, Twitter, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I stream a disgusting amount of hours. I usually play, 
MMORPG games. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> like Guild Wars, right? Yeah. That's it. yeah like Guild Wars. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I was one of the first five level of first five max level people in the world for Guild Wars 2. Of course you were. You of course much. you were. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky, where can the wonderful people find you and all the wonderful things you do? You can find me on all of the social media at Lucky Bones with a Z. You can find me on Twitch as well, same handle. I do variety streaming because I'm bad at everything, so I try <laughs> my hand at it all. But yeah, Zach, where can the people find you, oh, buddy? Yeah. Congrats oh, on give him a it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so I DM this group, uh, Boundless Glory, which I'm really digging um i also dm for i speak giant which is a podcast that comes out every week on tuesdays uh you can find me at zach names at a-c-n-a-o-u-m um on twitter on twitter where you can find me on twitter we can find my dumb B D tweets um but thank you all for joining us uh you've been wonderful to to hang out and spend some time with us I'm sure there'll be awesome other things coming up on PAX Online. So, so stick around and hang out for all that good stuff. Yeah. Um, love you. Bye. 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 Love Bye. Um, and uh, I love it whenever Zach says love you bye I wait to watch who, who out there like uh, this one dude Toby every time I'm like all right man love you bye he's like okay goodbye. <laughs> 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 You should hear with uh with, with Nat's kid. He's always coming up to me. He's like, I love you. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>